a heart of thanksgiving makes us whole. When we give thanks to God, we open up ourselves for God to do more things in our lives. We thank God in good times and in bad times too. We are thanking God for the previous years and we are thanking God for this year. Through the highs and lows, God has always been with us. The Word of God says, In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18 We thank God because He is good and His mercies endures forever. We thank God because it is hard to enter into the gates of the Lord. The Word of God says, Enter into His gates with thanksgiving and into his cause with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Psalms 100 verse 4 We have every reason to be grateful to God. We have asked enough and have received enough from God. It is now time to take away what we need and just be grateful for what he has done. O Lord my God, you have performed many wonders for us. Your plans for us are too numerous to list. You have no equal. If I try to recite all your wonderful deeds, I will never come to the end of them. God has performed many wonders in your life and family. He protected you in your going out and in your coming in. The pandemic that is claiming lives, God has preserved you. The natural disasters, accidents, Sicknesses and diseases that kill other people couldn't reach you. It is only the living that can praise the Lord. If I have 10,000 tongues, it will still not be enough. God owns our thanksgiving and our praise. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Pleasures are from the hand of God. Let's just reflect on some scriptures of thanksgiving. And then we will spend time thanking him. Psalms 118 verse 16 says, The strong right arm of the Lord is raised in triumph. The strong right arm of the Lord has done glorious things. All the victory we have is from the Lord. Our triumph is because you triumphed. I praise your name for the victory I have in Christ Jesus. Meditate on all the victories of your life and be grateful. The song says, count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Psalms 89 verse 13 to 15 says, your arm is endowed with power. Your hand is strong. Your right hand exalted. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Love and faithfulness go before you. Blessed are those who have learned to acclaim you, who walk in the light of your presence, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your presence in our lives. Thank you for your love and faithfulness. Thank you for making us the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. It is by your power, O Lord, that I am still alive. 1 Peter 1 verse 5 says, Who are kept by the power of God through faith for salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. God has kept you by his power through faith. Thank you, Lord, for your guidance and your protection. Thank you for not allowing the enemy to touch me. Thank you, Father, because you were with me in every step of the way. Thank you because when I was afraid, You touched me and assured me of your ever-abiding presence. James 1 verse 17 says, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lies, with whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Thank you, Lord, for your indescribable gift. We are grateful, O Lord. We are grateful, O Lord, for all you have done for us. We didn't come this far by our strength, because by strength shall no man prevail. All that we have been able to accomplish came from you, Lord. God is the one who does great and unsearchable things, wonders without number. Psalms 103 verse 1 to 4 says, 
Praise the Lord, my soul. All my innermost being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. O Lord, you crown me with your love and compassion. Thank you for redeeming my soul from the pit. Thank you for forgiving all my sins and healing all my diseases. My soul and all of my inner being praise your name. Colossians 2 verse 6 to 7 says, As you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, as you have been taught, abounding in it with thanksgiving. I thank you for your son Jesus Christ. Thank you for my union with Christ. Thank you for establishing my faith in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord our Savior. For each day he carries us in his arms. Our God is a God who saves. From the sovereign Lord comes escape from death. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 14 says, Now thanks be to God, who always leads us in triumph in Christ, and through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. Thank you, Lord, for always leading us in triumph in Christ Jesus. Thank you for diffusing the fragrance of your knowledge through us in every place. I will sing of the goodness of God. Therefore, by him, let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God, that is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Hebrews 13 verse 15. We worship in the name of the Lord. We bring our sacrifice of praise to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Our lips will speak of your awesomeness and your faithfulness. We thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. We give thanks unto you for your goodness and mercy that endures forever. Thank you, God of gods, for your mercy and endures forever. Thank you, Lord of laws, for your mercy and endures forever. For the great wonders you have done in our lives, we say thank you. We thank you, Lord, for remembering us in our lowly state. We bless your name for redeeming us from our enemies. Your mercy endures forever. Thank you, God of heaven, for supplying all our needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Oh, Lord, your works are known unto the ends of the earth. We thank you for all the things you have done in our lives. Sing to him. Sing psalms to him. Talk of all his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those rejoice who seek the Lord. Receive our praise, O Lord. We give you glory and honor. You are worthy to be praised. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Blessing and honor and glory and power be to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb forever and ever. From everlasting to everlasting, my praise will rise to you. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him. My Father is God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Your right hand, O Lord, has become glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, has dashed the enemy in pieces. Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? By the greatness of your arm, Lord, I will overcome every situation. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. Psalms 95 verse 1 to 5 says, O oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, 
and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it and his hands formed the dry land. Heavenly Father, you are the rock of my salvation. I have come to thank you. You are a great God and a great King above all gods. You created the hills, the highs, and the seas. Now therefore, our God, we thank you and praise your glorious name. We lift our hands to the air. We bow our face to worship you, our Lord. Colossians 3 verse 15 to 17 says, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful, let the message of Christ dwell among you richly, as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Find time to just sing psalms and hymns to God. Lord, with a heart of gratitude for all that you have done, I say thank you. Sing songs from the Spirit to the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song. Wonderful is the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, for praise from the upright is beautiful. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. O taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you and praise your name. For in perfect faithfulness you have done wonderful things, things planned long ago. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and with my song I praise him. Praise the Lord my soul, all my innermost being, praise his holy name. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will lift up my hands. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. I will exalt you, my God the King. I will praise your name forever and ever. I thank and praise you, God of my ancestors. You have given me wisdom and power. You have made known to me what I ask of you. Yours, Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor for everything in heaven and earth is yours. Yours, Lord, is the kingdom. You are exalted as head over all. How great you are, sovereign Lord. There is no one like you and there is no God but you as we have heard with our own ears. There is no one holy like the Lord. There is no one besides you. There is no rock like our God. Receive my thanksgiving today. In Jesus' name, amen.